Well, congratulations, graduates. All of us at First Coast News want to say that we are proud of you. My name is Jeannie Blaylock, and we are just watching you. You are so dignified, you are so proud, and you should be, because I know this year did not turn out the way you were hoping, but you can look back on this and realize that you took the brave step. You made the right decision to protect everybody else. So I want to tell you a story, and this story is about how I messed up up in college, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. And the reason I want to tell you this story for graduation is if you ever take a stumble, if something happens that's really embarrassing or you feel like you failed, wait before you blame yourself because it might just be your motivation to a big success. So here's the story. When I was a freshman in college, we had to take speech class. It was required. Well, back then I had no idea I was going to go into television. I was petrified. I didn't want to do speech. I didn't want to stand up in front of anybody else and talk. So my very first speech was about watercolor painting because it was supposed to be how to do something. Well, I didn't really practice it the way I should have. And when I got up to do the speech, my watercolor painting started dripping on the floor and the paper started to wrinkle and I got so confused, I actually stopped. I looked over at the professor and I said, can I start over? And that immediately docked my grade down one whole notch and the whole thing was a disaster. So I went back to my dorm room and I thought, that was so awful. And I was, I was embarrassed, but it kind of made me mad at myself and I thought, Jeannie, you can do better than this. So. I wrote another speech and I decided to take something I felt passionate about, which was smoking. Back then, there were no anti-smoking laws, except in California, it was just starting to brew. So I wrote a speech about the rights of the non-smoking majority. And I was really fired up about this. I did all the research, I practiced it, and I delivered it in a freshman speech contest campus-wide and I got first place. I won. <laughs> and that fired me up about communication. I ran into the radio station right away and they had a job for me and then I got a job in television and that just went on and I just, I love my career. I absolutely love what I do. So next time you start to get scared of something or you stumble just a bit, stop and go, you know what, this no, I can turn into a yes. I can make this a big success. And that's my message for you. Never, ever, ever beat yourself up. Always be proud, hold your head high, and look at your talents deep within you. You may not realize you are excellent at something that you thought maybe didn't work out so well. So enjoy your graduation. Make sure you hug your family all you can. They are so precious, such gems. And we say to you, great job.